Hi, in this demo, we are going to see how we can use Ansible to configure a system to a given state. Ansible is an agentless configuration management tool, which means it doesn't need to install any agent on the machine which you want to configure. To configure remote systems, Ansible host need SSH access to those hosts. For this demo, I have already configured passwordless SSH between the Ansible host and the remote machine. In the current working directory, we would see two files and one directory. The inventory file contains the host which you want to configure. You can group the host by some name like nginx here. Deploy.dml file contains a playbook which you want to run again set of hosts. Here our host is the one which is listed with nginx tag. A playbook file contains either set of tasks or include a file which has list of tasks to run against host. Let's look at the task file which contains instruction to install nginx on a host. Our remote machine is a CentOS machine, so we would first install an APL package, then we install the nginx, we start the nginx service, then we modify the firewall rule to allow port 80, we would then reload the firewall rules. To run this playbook, we would use the files located in the current folder. By default, Ansible looks at the files located in the slash etc Ansible, which has host file, task, roles, and other files. Let's run the Ansible job from the current folder. With minus i option, we can specify the inventory file. And then we have to specify the playbook. Ansible would first connect to the remote host and then perform task one by one. It would first install an EPL package, then Nginx package, it would start the Nginx service and then change the firewall rules accordingly. Ansible has performed all the operations which were mentioned in the playbook file. Nginx would not be running on the remote host and we can check it by connecting via browser. So in this demo, we have seen how we can use Ansible configure a system to a desired state.